Hello everyone and welcome to Fragrance Awards. This is going to be a recurring section where I talk about my favorite fragrances within some specific category. Today we're talking about Middle Eastern fragrances. When it comes to pure dollar value, nothing beats out the amazing price to quality ratio that you get with Middle Eastern fragrances. The 12 amazing Middle Eastern fragrances that I've picked out today will be separated first by weather and then further separated by fragrance family. This means we're gonna end up with three fragrances for each season. My name is Surya, and if that sounds exciting, hit the subscribe button and let's get started with the first fragrance. Disclaimers before we get started. The first is all of this is my personal opinion. Of course, I haven't smelled every single Middle Eastern fragrance out there, but if you have suggestions for any fragrance that you like more than the one suggested in this video, please drop them in the comments. I'll smell them and maybe they'll be in the next video. Now for the second disclaimer. As you may know, a lot of Middle Eastern fragrances are inspired by fragrances out here in the West. You may call them clones or dupes. Some of the fragrances on this list have been inspired by other fragrances, but I personally feel like they should be judged in their own right. For me, Middle Eastern perfumery is not about getting really close and accurate to a fragrance that already exists. It's about adding your own twist and personality to a fragrance DNA that you've smelled before. That's why I haven't mentioned what some of the fragrances are cloning, but for the sake of transparency, I put them in the description if you're curious. Now that that's out of the way, let's get started. Now, who doesn't love the summer? The feeling of the warm sun rays on our skin. Summer is a season of warmth. It's a season of beaches and it's the season of ice cream. I really enjoy summer fragrances because they're light and they're playful and you can wear them for the entire day without really worrying about occasion. The three most common fragrance families that are worn in the summer are fruity, aquatic, and citrus. Let's start with fruity. So my pick for the best fruity Middle Eastern fragrance is Latafa's Bade Al Oud Sublime. Now Sublime is a beautiful, juicy, lychee and rose fragrance. Now lychee is a fruit that I grew up with in India, so it's really close to my heart. It's also really hard to find in fragrances, but when it's done well, it's such a beautiful, juicy scent. In this fragrance, the lychee and rose kind of work in this beautiful harmony which gives it a light airiness, but also keeping the wateriness of the fruit. This scent is amazing for so many different occasions. And at the great price of just $35, you cannot go wrong with Sublime. Now the next category we're gonna talk about are the aquatics. For me personally, most aquatics come off as a little boring, but this scent is unlike any aquatic you've ever smelt before. My pick for the best Middle Eastern aquatic scent is Latafa's Wajud. Now Wajud is at its core an aquatic, but unlike most other aquatics, it's not supported just by citrus. This one is supported by a beautiful earthy vetiver. The vetiver makes wajud a lot more mature and also a lot more unique. This is an aquatic that you don't just wear to the beach. You can wear it to so many other occasions. And for just $28, the uniqueness of this fragrance just cannot be beat. The final subcategory in summer is citrus. Now citrus fragrances are a dime a dozen. It's by far the most well-known fragrance family within the community. That's why when I wear citruses, I don't want something that smells like a generic lemon cleaner. So of course, my pick for the best citrus Middle Eastern fragrance is Rasasi's Hawas. Now everyone's probably heard of Hawas. It's equally citrusy, fruity, and aquatic. It's, in my opinion, the perfect summer scent. The core note is a bright, watery plum, and it also has a little bit of this bubblegummy swoopness. If you're looking for just one super playful scent for the summer, Rasasi Hawas is it. You can find this for about $50 on any of the major retailers. So this is definitely one to pick up. Now let's move on to fall. This is the season of falling leaves. It's the season of red flannels. And of course, it's the season of pumpkin spice lattes. The three fragrance families that I picked for fall are Gourmand, boozy and orientals. Let's start with my favorite gourmands. Now gourmand fragrances are by definition fragrances that smell edible. I've always had a major sweet tooth so you know that these fragrances are gonna be my favorite. So my pick for the best Middle Eastern gourmand fragrance is Latafa's Nebras. Now Nebras is a simple airy buttery vanilla cake 
but the scent profile is not as juvenile as it sounds. This scent can be dressed up for a formal evening event, or it can be dressed down for a fun day out in the cold. It's also very photorealistic. In general, gourmands are tricky to pull off just because it's hard to make a photorealistic edible scent. Any hint of syntheticness is going to throw off the entire profile. Nebrest does a beautiful job at creating a photorealistic, freshly baked vanilla cake. You can find it for about $40, and for that price, this is a steal. The next fall category we're going to talk about are boozy fragrances. Now, to be fair, I haven't come across a lot of boozy Middle Eastern scents. Maybe I just haven't been looking for them specifically. But of course, my pick for the best boozy Middle Eastern fragrance is Latafa's Kamra. Now, Kamra is well known in the community for being a great alternative to another boozy fragrance. But I think Kamra also stands in its own right. It has a great warm apple spice kind of feel. And the cognac in this is boozy, but without being offensive. There are other sweet notes like dates and praline which play really well with the amber and vanilla. Overall, the spicy sweetness with a little touch of booziness is perfect for the fall. So at just $50, this is a great fall boozy pickup. The last category for the fall season are orientals. Now, orientals are defined by the spices. Spices like cinnamon, cumin, cardamom, all add a beautiful depth and character to the fragrance. So my pick for the best Oriental Middle Eastern fragrance is the super underrated Latafa Kayed. Now admittedly, Kayed is not super complex. It's a few spices, it's a little bit of vanilla, and it's a little bit of woodiness. That's about it. But it's such a high quality, luxurious scent. You can dress this up all the way to a suit and tie event and nobody would bat an eye just because of the quality of this fragrance. If you're looking for an introduction into Orientals, but you don't want something that's too out there, this is a great fragrance for that. And you won't believe that this fragrance can be picked up for just $20, which makes this an absolute steal. Now let's move on to winter, the season of beans, of campfires, and of course, of hot chocolate. The three fragrance families that I picked for winter are woody, herbaceous, and leather fragrances. Let's start with woody. Now, woods are a note that are used in almost every fragrance. This is because they add a perfect structure and base to make the fragrances last a lot longer. But when we talk about woody fragrances, we're talking about fragrances where the most prominent note is this dry, barky wood. So my pick for the best Middle Eastern woody fragrance is Latafa's Hala. Now, this is the only fragrance where I'm going to show you the presentation because it's just such a beautiful display case. Now, Latafa's Hala is centered around cedarwood and incense. When I first sniffed it, I caught the feeling of meditating in the mountains. It's a very calming, mature, earthy, and woody scent. And I promise you've never smelled something like this before. I would definitely dress this up a little bit because it has a little bit of a green facet that makes it super mature. You can purchase Hala for about $40, which makes this the best woody fragrance from the Middle East. Now, the next winter category is herbaceous scents. Now, herbaceousness can be described as a fresh spicy. It does have a green facet to it, but it also has a spicy facet to it. Now, my top pick for the best herbaceous Middle Eastern scent is Rasasi's Shura for men. If you've never heard of or smelled Shura, I promise this is going to be like nothing you've ever smelled before. Up to this point, fragrance might have just been something you wear to feel good. But this bottle will change how you look at fragrance. Fragrance is now an experience. Of course, Shura is very spicy. It's very herbal. But it's also very brash and bold and edgy. If you smelled something like this walking by on the street, you wouldn't think, hey, I like the perfume this guy is wearing. You'd probably think, what the hell was that? I've never smelled anything like that before. Now, the notes mention some white florals, some rose, but they also mention tomato leaf. You wouldn't understand this note until you get your nose on this fragrance because it does have this vegetable leaf kind of smell. I promise there's no way to describe this fragrance in a way that doesn't make it sound, well, different. But the uniqueness of this fragrance is what makes it my favorite herbaceous scent. And for just $30, it is a must-buy. 
Now the last category for the winter season is leather. We all know what leather fragrances smell like. They're bold, they're mature, and they're perfect to wear with a leather jacket. Unfortunately, I lost my bottle for this one, but I cannot find a better leather scent from the Middle East. So my pick for the best Middle Eastern leather fragrance is Rosasi's La Yukuam. Now, La Yukuam can be described as a very mature leather raspberry combination. The little fruitiness rounds off the leather, making it just a touch more playful. But of course, it remains a very mature, put together scent. The spices like saffron and thyme really add body to this leather. They make it more dressed up, they make it more formal, and they really complement the fruitiness of the raspberry. You can find this fragrance for about $55, and I think that makes it the best leather fragrance from the Middle East. Now let's move on to spring. Spring is the season of flowers. It's the season where the sun starts to peak out again. But my favorite thing about spring is all the fauna that pops its head back into the wild. Now the three categories that I picked for spring are clean, floral, and green fragrances. Let's start with fresh and clean fragrances. Now clean fragrances are arguably one of my favorite fragrance families. Because I have so many, some days I just feel overwhelmed with all the scents. Some days you just want to smell clean like you've just come out of the shower. Clean fragrances are so versatile because you can wear it just about to anything. My pick for the best clean Middle Eastern fragrance is Ajmal's Evoke Gold. Now, Evoke Gold is just a soapy, powdery, clean iris fragrance. It's great for the office, but it's also great for when you just want to smell clean and put together. There's not a lot to be said about this fragrance because by definition, it's not supposed to be very complex. So for about $30 on the days where you just want to smell nice, Ajmal Evoke Gold is my pick for the cleanest Middle Eastern fragrance. Now let's move on to floral. If citrus is the most well-known note in the men's fragrance community, then florals are the most well-known notes in the women's fragrance community. It's hard to pick one fragrance for florals just because there are so many different types of florals. Not all floral fragrances have the same feel, but if I had to pick just one floral Middle Eastern fragrance, then my top pick would be Paris Connors Ministry of Oud, Oud Satin. Simply put, Oud Satin is luxury in a bottle. It's a smooth, silky rose fragrance. I wear this a lot on my most special occasions. I wore it for my birthday just a few days ago. I was never a huge fan of oud in fragrances until I smelled this. Oud might be a scary note to consider, but I promise this fragrance is a great introduction to oud. The high-end, watery, sweet rose petals is what makes this fragrance worth it. For just about $50, this is the most luxurious scent that you can find. Now the last, final category within spring are green fragrances. Green fragrances are often polarizing. Some people love the smell of freshly cut grass, but some people say they don't want to smell like a lawn. Traditionally, green fragrances are pretty tricky to pull off. That's why I picked something very non-traditional. My pick for the best green Middle Eastern fragrance is Rosasi's Shura for women. Now, Shura for women is a little bit different from Shura for men. The greenness in this fragrance mostly comes from the sage. But the sage is perfectly complemented by this candied lemon peel kind of smell. It definitely doesn't smell like something classically green, like Rosasi's Fatan. This doesn't have that freshly cut lawn kind of smell, but it's more of a beautiful mix between the greenness and the candied lemon. It also has this facet of a green tea note, which I personally really enjoy. I know on the bottle this says for women, but if you're a guy, I would definitely try this out. For just about $30, this would be my pick for the best green Middle Eastern fragrance. Now that concludes our top 12 Middle Eastern fragrances by weather as well as by fragrance family. Keep in mind that the season of choice is just a recommendation. If you want to wear something floral in the summer, or if you want to wear something woody in the fall, feel free to do that. As long as you like a fragrance and you find it wearable in any season, you can do that. That's all for today's video and I'll see you on the next one. Keep smelling amazing.